So first up, what I picked up from Netta Porto. Anyway, the next thing I picked up was from Chanel. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a new vlog. I've just finished doing my makeup, and I've looked at it in this other mirror, and I feel like I've gone a little bit heavy on the cheeks for a daytime look. So I'm trying to, like, blend out my um, over-the-top highlight. My skin at the moment, guys. I basically had this thing called Morphous 8. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably know about it because I posted it on my story. But I had it done, it'll be a week ago on Saturday. T today is currently Wednesday, by the way. And basically, if you don't know what Morphous 8 is, it's microneedling with radio frequency. And the reason I got it done is because I've spoken to you guys about it a million times before, but you know what? I used to have really quite bad skin. And over the years, I've got some like acne scarring around my mouth. You can't see it like when I've got makeup on and stuff. But when I haven't got makeup on, you can see it a little bit. And I heard that this was really good for it. And also, it also like fights the signs of aging a little bit. And I always say this, I'm always up for any help I can possibly get. Anyway, I had it done. They numb your whole face. I'll insert a photo of me with my face numbed. And then you basically have this like gun put on your face. <laughs> And it's got needles in it and they just sort of kind of like shoot the needles into your face. I have a really high pain threshold, like I can't lie. Even the doctor said, I had it done at um, Skin Doctors in London. Even the doctor that did it, she said, I've never had a patient that's like been so still. Like you don't even look like it's hurting you. And it did hurt, but for me, like the pain was fine. I kind of weirdly like the feeling of that kind of pain, which is a little bit odd. Um, anyway, the only thing was I have just not been prepared for the aftermath of it Like I thought I was gonna come out glowing and just look fantastic and I can't lie I didn't realize you can't wear makeup for three whole days So I had this done on a Saturday good job We didn't have any plans last weekend because yeah, I didn't wear makeup until the Tuesday And then since then I've had a breakout, but yeah I mean they'll go and I do feel like it has helped a bit It's meant to like lift your face as well. So like really contour your jawline I have got quite a strong draw naturally, but I felt that like round my mouth and stuff was beginning to like, not sag, but look a little bit tired, do you know what I mean? So I feel like it has lifted it a bit, but you don't see full effects um, for a while. And you also have to have three sessions, or at least three sessions to like really get like the full, the full thing. Oh, and I also have like a little bruise on my eye. Can you see it just there? on top of my eyelid? And that is also from the Morpheus 8 as well. Sometimes it can bruise you. Anyway, I've left my hair straight today. That's kind of odd because I've been curling my hair. I'm going to show you. I have a new curler. And this is what it looks like. I can't hold it because I've already turned it on. But do you remember in my last vlog, I said to you guys that my Dyson, I love it. I've been using it like religiously every single day for three years, basically. And I love that blow dried effect it kind of gives your hair. However, my curls just are not lasting with it. And I don't really know why. I think I said in my last vlog, I think it's because of like the moisture in the air this time of year. But it's really annoying because you spend all that time sort of blow drying your hair and then it just drops out and then your hair just kind of looks a mess like an hour later. So I've gone back to like wanding my hair, which I haven't done really for years unless I'm on holiday because my Dyson never works when I'm on holiday because the humidity, too much moisture in the air. So this is a GHD curling tong. I actually already have this one, which they look identical. However, this one I believe is the 26 millimeter one and this one is the biggest one they do and I think it's... 32 i'll link them both down below this one i do really like it but it makes your hair look very kind of done like it really gives a like a spiral curl not a spiral curl but it gives like a proper curl sometimes i don't really love that look if you know what i mean this one well, what effect i was hoping from it was just like a really loose kind of like effortless curl to kind of replace my dyson curls and i've been using it the last couple of days i got it from look fantastic it was like 115 pounds i think they've got like a sale on and it's so good. So I thought this morning, why don't we curl my hair together? Because you always ask me like how I do my hair. And obviously you've seen me dice my hair a hundred times over. So it's super easy. I always start from the back of my hair whenever I'm like doing it. You take like fair amount like sections of hair. I'm really bad at explaining stuff guys. And then you wrap it backwards. So like away from your face on the wand. I'm a little bit scared I'm going to burn my fingers. I should probably put like a sock on my hand so I don't burn it. And then I hold it for anywhere between like 8 and 10 seconds. And I like to also do this, kind of move my hair up and down it. I don't really know if that actually does anything, but it's just something I always do whenever I'm like wanding my hair. And then you drop the curl. And it looks like this.
I should also mention that with these curling tongs from GHD, they've obviously got this clip on the side, which you're meant to like clip your hair into it. Go like that and then curl it under or however you do it. I literally have no clue. Every single time I've tried to do it, it's just gone so wrong and then left such a big kink in my hair. So I basically just do it like I just use it as a normal wand. And I've been using this one, I kid you not, for like four or five years like that. And it's fine. After I've done the one side, I just go back over a few of the sections just so it doesn't look as perfect. I kind of like mess it up a little bit. I always leave this front bit out because I'm going to wet that and then um, like blow dry my hair forward and then curl it. And here is how it looks straight after. So it's kind of a lot, isn't it? Like it's very, very curly. But let me get my, I want to get my other tangle teaser brush. Once you brush it out, it all kind of starts looking a little bit more like natural. And then in the next hour or so, it will drop a little bit as well. By the way, I'm sorry if it's a little bit loud um, behind you. I've got the window open. So weird, I've got the window open in November. But it's actually kind of warm in this flat. And then this is how it looks once it's finished. I have to say, it is very, very, very puffy today. I'm going to put some oil through it. But just to give you an idea, it will drop. But it won't drop out like the Dyson does. It will hold like until I wash my hair again. Anyway, I actually have a nail appointment today, thank God, because look at my nails. Let me just show you up close. They are so grown out, they are so chipped. So I need to pick an outfit, but I'm thinking something comfy, as always with me, but also something that's going to be warm. I actually have a really cute new jumper from Adenola, which is over here. I love their stuff. In my last vlog, well, all, basically in so many of my vlogs, I wear their stuff. Um, but how cute is this? It's giving me like vintage vibes. And these kind of jumpers always remind me of Princess Diana. You know, there's those really iconic pictures of her wearing cycling shorts, like really sporty with this kind of jumper on, which I just love. They actually come in all different colors. I'll show you in my living room because I've just steamed them all. By the way, my random rail in my living room is so good for steaming clothes. It's such an eyesore, but it's actually really handy. By the way, we have a lot of unboxing to do in this video. I've been a little bit crazy. Anyway, these are the new colors from Adnola. Ignore those two there, they're my gray ones. I haven't actually steamed yet, but I washed them because I wore them last week. But yeah, we've got khaki, we've got navy blue and black. I'm off to the nail shop. I shall see you there, but whilst I'm on the way, I'm gonna leave you with a little Adnola try on haul. Okay, so outfit number one is the one that I'm wearing out today. So I have on like the crew neck, jumper which has got the adenola branding across the front something i love about these jumpers guys is the fact that they actually come down quite long now let me show you they cover your bum which i really love because i nine times out of ten wear these jumpers with leggings and i don't really love my bum on show when i'm wearing leggings like do you know what i mean sometimes you feel like a little bit exposed but i love the way you can either wear the jumper down or you can kind of tuck it under like that. So this one is the black one. It's obviously got the Adenola branding right across the front. I said a minute ago, but I feel like it's very like vintage vibes and I really love it. I'm wearing this in a size medium and this is how it fits me. So very oversized fit. I would say if you don't love an oversized fit, I would say sizing down. All of the stuff that I have from Adenola is in a size medium, except for my trousers. So all of my jogging bottoms and things, I'll show you those in a minute. They are all in a size small. And the way I've styled this jumper up is very, very simple. So underneath, I've laid it with a white t-shirt. The reason I've done that is because I love how it looks when you can kind of see the white t-shirt poking through and it matches the branding on the front. I just think it looks really nice. And I basically wear all of the jumpers with a t-shirt underneath. And then as the weather gets a little bit cooler, it's actually not that cold today, so I'm just literally gonna go out with this on. But you could pop on either a black puffer coat or a black duster coat just to finish the look. And I think that would look really good. Now, same jumper, but I've switched out the leggings for a pair of joggers. So the joggers match the jumper perfectly. As you can see on here, they have the Adenola branding. I'll show you all of this in a cutaway. I'm sure you're seeing me and I'll show you it all up close. The first time I ever bought a pair of Adenola joggers, I ordered them in the same size as the jumper. And I thought I didn't like them, but actually I realized they were just too big. And now I size down in the joggers. So these are a size small. I think they look great. The joggers I wear so much when I'm around the house and also they are so good to travel in. Like if I'm traveling anywhere, whether I'm in the car or going on a plane, I will always wear a pair of joggers 
just because they're just so much more comfy. Sorry, how nice is this color green? It's actually unreal. And I always like wearing green because it brings out my green eyes. That is so cringe to say about yourself, but it actually does. I just looked at myself in the mirror and was like, wow, my eyes look so green today. But it's because obviously I'm wearing this jumper. So this is exactly the same as the black crew neck. However, it's in this kind of khaki green. And then I have on also the green khaki leggings. I mean, it might be a little bit too much of the same colour, some of you might be thinking. It's a little bit too much, a little bit matchy-matchy. I always love everything to match, so I personally love them together, but you could switch out the leggings and wear a pair of jeans with them, or even you could wear black leggings. Obviously, this has black piping on it, so black leggings would look great with this jumper as well. But as I said, I really love like the matchy-matchiness of it. I mention this whenever I do a haul with Adenola, but I cannot tell you how good the quality of their stuff is. The jumpers, they just feel thick, but they don't feel like thick and heavy. Like I hate that sometimes if you have a hoodie or a jumper that's so heavy. It's nice because it feels expensive, but it's actually not nice to wear because it's too much. But theirs are just the right thickness. The inside is also slightly fleeced as well. Something I said in the recent haul was moaning about the inside of like coats and things not being fleecy because that's the bit that touches your skin. Adenola stuff on the inside is absolutely lovely. Now all of these crew neck jumpers come in a hoodie version. I of course got the hoodie and the crew neck because I just know I'll wear them both so much but I feel like I like how a hoodie looks but I don't know if any of you feel this way. Sometimes when I wear a hoodie, I kind of feel like it's sort of like pulling me back a little bit. And I sometimes feel like a hoodie like strangles me slightly. But I like putting them over the top of kind of like a coat or something like that. I mean the hood over the top. Now I think the hoodies are a slightly bigger fit, even though they are the same size. So the hoodies are all in a medium as well. But I think they're a slightly bigger fit than the crew neck jumpers. So just be aware of that. Once again, they come down quite long as you can see, covers your bum. And obviously a hoodie is really handy for those kind of colder days. You can put your hood up and be nice and warm. But that's another really lovely thing about Adenola. You have choices. So you can have a hoodie, you can have a crew neck, and let me show you another option. So for all of my athleisure, looking like you're going to the gym, but maybe you're not going to the gym, girls and boys out there, how good is this set? Look at these new jackets from Adenola. I am obsessed. So this is obviously all in khaki. I have one of the khaki sports bras underneath, which I always say, make your boobs look great, like really, really push them up. And then I have this zip up jacket over the top. It is very all one color. But I think it looks really cool. And I always think when you're wearing like a gym wear set, that is all like matching. You really look like you've got your life together, even though 99% of the time, I absolutely have not. And of course, you can work out in Adenola stuff, guys, but I just tend to wear it to be comfy, but to look nice at the same time. I do sometimes wear it to the gym, like Pilates and stuff like that, but I tend to like wear it day to day. And also this material, I wish you could feel it, but it's just so kind of like silky and soft. But something you should know about it, it doesn't bobble. I'm sure there's many of you out there that have spent money on gym wear and leggings that bobble like crazy. Adenola does not. I've trialed and tested it. It would take a lot of wears for it to bobble, trust me. It just feels insane. Okay, sticking with the kind of like athleisure vibe, guys, my boobs in this top, it's like it's giving me a boob job. Like seriously, sorry if that's slightly strange that everyone's looking at my boobs right now, but we are predominantly females on here. So we all understand the benefits of finding a top that really secures them and also makes them look great at the same time. Anyway, this is one of Adenola's kind of like newer style tank tops. They've all got a built-in sports bra, which is why they secure your boobs so well. This set, like pretty much all of Adenola styles, it comes in all different colors. This is like the gray version that goes so lovely with the navy blue sweater. Now, how I'd wear this is obviously put it on or you could pop it over your shoulders so imagine you've just finished your pilates class or maybe you're on the way to the gym or more likely with me going to the cinema or going to meet my friend for breakfast in this outfit but how cute is this obviously at the moment the weather is getting a little bit cooler so you could pop on a coat like a gray dust coat put this over the top or you could of course put it on and i'm going to show you what the navy one looks like on with this outfit as well. So this is it against the grey leggings. Once again, size medium. This is how it fits me. But how lovely is this? You can now see why I ended up getting these jumpers in every single colour, can't you? Because can you imagine how much I'm gonna wear this? Especially like this time of year, going home to my family for Christmas. All I do 
is just wear really comfy stuff but I also like to look nice so like if we end up going to the pub or like going around to friends or even friends come over I want to be comfortable but I also don't want to look a mess do you know what I mean so these are just so perfect for chilling at home running errands and just generally looking nice but also being comfy and looking kind of cool now if you are like me and you love the matchy matchiness of everything look guys there are navy leggings and they're the same waistband as the khaki ones so the waistband is crossed over but how cool does it look with this jumper i'd of course finish the look maybe with like a trench coat my new balance 550s i'm sure you're seeing me my white classic chanel flap love it once again you could switch out the leggings for jeans if you'd prefer that or you could switch out the leggings for a pair of joggers because of course this has matching joggers to go with it, so like navy joggers on the website, which are really cute. So that was everything I picked up from Adeno. Like, if you can't already tell, I bloomin' love their stuff. Like, honestly, if you buy a crew neck, a hoodie, a pair of joggers, a pair of leggings, I promise you, you're going to be so happy with it. I have all my friends wearing their stuff. Everyone absolutely loves it, and it's just like really effortless, comfy things to wear. They have given me a code, which is Freya Free Ship, which gets all UK customers free standard shipping. As always, everything I feature will be linked down below so you can easily go and shop it all from there and I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog well I believe I left you guys when I was in the nail shop didn't I and it had been a couple of days since I got my nails done do you want to see them? I am really happy with them, but I feel like they're quite different for me. So I went for French and I've gone quite short, but I feel like the base colour is not really like my usual French base colour. I do like it, but they kind of remind me of like Barbie's nails. Not really the vibes I was going for, but I still kind of like them. And I think my next nail appointment is like the 8th of December. And then I'm going to have a little bit of glitter put on my nails. So they're only kind of temporary. By the way, townhouse nails so nice anyway i'm in like my unboxing seat aren't i um what do we think to my hair i feel like it looks a little bit silly but this is day three guys since i curled my hair with you all and yeah the curls as you can see are still really in that is the benefit to using like a wand instead of a dyson my dyson curls they do like well in the summertime they last a little bit longer but they never last like this but yeah i'm not really sure on this fringe that i've got going on but whatever anyway near the beginning of this video i showed you guys i had some stuff to unbox with you i have it all next to me here this is like accumulation and accumulation shall i say of things that i picked up over the last few weeks as many of you know i regularly do like wardrobe clear outs and then i reinvest the money into new things so that is why i have quite a bit of new stuff to show you guys so first up what i picked up from net a -Porte. Net a porter, net a porter, whichever you'd like to call it. So I actually haven't shopped on here for ages. I did buy a few dresses in the summer for a wedding that I went to, but I ended up sending them back because I didn't, I didn't wear the dress. But it's just a really good place to shop designer online, isn't it? So I picked up first thing was this hat, which like so many of you, when I say the brand Loewe like that, you're all like, no, it's low. But I'm pretty sure it's Loewe. If someone can settle the debate in the comments, I would be very grateful. But for now, I'm still going to call it Loewe. I can't put it on because obviously my hair is up. But it's just a really cute little beanie hat. And then it's just got the Loewe anagram just on the side there with this little leather tab. And I just thought it was really sweet. The material is such lovely quality as well. Like it's really stretchy and it just feels so, so lovely. I really want to get like a matching scarf as well. I think I might treat myself for Christmas, but I think as the weather gets cooler, that'll be really cute. And then the next thing I picked up from there, by the way, I did this order like a fair few weeks ago now and have already worn these shoes, um, but they are from Loro Piana. And these shoes, I can't lie, they kind of remind me of my mum, like, and my mum's friends and things like that. I feel like they have been around, they, I don't even feel like, I know, they have been around for absolutely years. And they're kind of like granddad shoes. But basically, I don't own like any really lovely suede shoes. And quite often with my outfits, like I always want like a lighter shoe. Like I own so many black leather shoes, but not like lighter shoes, if that makes sense. And when I wear like all cream outfits, I often feel like I need this kind of shoe in my life. So I ended up getting a pair of, as I say, I've worn them already. So the bottoms are a little bit dirty. I ended up getting a pair of the 
like beigey color suede laura piana open walks i believe these are called and guys these are the most comfortable shoes you've ever worn in your entire life they are insane like you feel like you're not even wearing shoes like they are just so so comfy they don't rub they don't do anything like that and yeah i know probably looking at them maybe not the cutest things ever but styled up in the right way i'll insert a video if i still have the footage i wore them in a haul just recently you guys might have seen them with like an all cream outfit and i think they look really nice but yeah you guys might think they're just like the most grannyish granddad shoes of all time but like they're kind of like a shoe if you know you know kind of vibes you know the next thing i then picked up was from my favorite celine i love celine so much i actually feel like it is possibly like my Second or third, I'd say, a favourite brand. I love them. Some of you might remember that in the summer, I got the Tortoiseshell Triumph sunglasses, which look like this. And I absolutely love them. However, in wintertime, I feel like Tortoiseshell, of course you can wear it. You can definitely, definitely, definitely wear it. But I just don't really tend to wear Tortoiseshell in winter. And because I have the Triumph handbag, I love when everything is like very matchy-matchy. And I really felt like I wanted the black sunglasses to match my bag and then I can wear them in winter time. So I invested in the black pair as well. And some people might think it's ridiculous. Wow, why does my face go so light on camera when I put these on? I don't know. Some people might think it's ridiculous having like two pairs of sunglasses that are basically the same. But I'm often like that. If I like something, I'm going to get it in the other colour because they're comfy, they go with everything, and I'll wear these like in the summertime, I'll wear them on holidays, and through the winter, I'll wear the black pair. And also, because of my Harrods points, you guys know I love to talk about my Harrods points, I think I had like £200 on my Harrods card from other stuff I'd bought, and so I got these like £200 off. So they felt like a bargain. I blooming love that when that happens. When you get to the teal in Harrods. And they're like, madam, you have um, points to spend. And what I do is I usually save them up until like I make like a big purchase. And then like I get the money off. Anyway, the next thing I picked up was from Chanel. This actually seems insane. This haul is actually a joke. But as I said, it's an accumulation of stuff I picked up over the last few weeks. And I have sold a load of stuff. I just feel like I need to just make that clear. This isn't just like, oh, I just bought all this stuff like out of thin air. I absolutely did not. Anyway, the next thing I picked up was from Chanel. And guys, I cannot tell you how much I wish what is inside this box was a beige classic Chanel flap. Unfortunately, it is not. And that is just because I can't get a hold of the one I want in the right shade. It's nowhere to be seen. That's the reason I sold so many of my handbags as well, because I just want this bag a lot, but I can't get hold of it. But... Obviously, the time is just not right for me. In the meantime, a new collection has launched at Chanel. And I had a look. And I didn't really, like, love any of the bags. Like, I do like them. And if, like, money wasn't an object, I'd have bought a few. But, like, for me, the price of a Chanel bag now is insane. And all of these, like, fun prints, like, bright colours, they're lovely. But when a classic Chanel flap is, like, over 7K now, like, they're lovely bags. But I'm not going to get enough wear out of them to justify the price tag. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, I'm trying to hold out for the beige classic flap. I've been on a waiting list for that for like a year. But in the meantime, something I did like from the new collection came in this box. And they are a pair of sneakers, trainers, whatever you like to call them. I already have a pair of Chanel trainers and I wear them all of the time. They're so comfy. They go with everything and they're all black. So, when I saw these, I thought they were quite a, like, good contrast to those. They're obviously white, black, and silver. I wasn't really sure at first on the silver, just because I don't wear any silver. But then I did think that, like, my Chanel Mini, the chain on that is um, champagne colour. Shall I actually go and get it? Okay, here is my Mini Classic Flap. And as you can see, the hardware on it is champagne, so it's in between silver and gold. And... I feel like it doesn't look that dissimilar. Sorry, you can't even blim and see the chain the way I'm holding it. It doesn't look that dissimilar to like the silver on these trainers. Can you see? So I feel like worn together. And there is a slight bit of gold just around like the CC there. And as I already wear my other Chanel trainers so much, like, and I feel like I'm kind of ruining them. I wear them that much. I felt like it was time to invest in a new pair that was slightly different. The only thing I'm worried about these is how dirty they're going to get because... There's a lot of white on these trainers. I feel like I need to get some of that, like, crepe protect. Does any of you have that? Like, is it worth getting it? Shall I get it? 
Um, but yeah, I actually tried these on and then I wasn't sure at first. By the way, I love the sole on any Chanel trainer. But the outfit I had on the day that I tried them on for the first time, I was wearing like tights, a skirt. It just wasn't the vibes of a trainer. So I went back in like a more sportier outfit and I loved them. And I feel like they're quite like a sporty looking trainer, which yeah, I just really thought they were cool. So that's what I picked up from Chanel. I feel like I have a hair on my face. Like it's so annoying. By the way, the lighting here is always just so good. I've got like spots and it's such a grey day, but the light at this window never lets me down. Anyway, what I picked up from Hermes, this is like my most exciting thing I have to show you guys. Unfortunately, as you can tell by the size of the box, it is not a Kelly and it is not a Birkin yet, being the key word there guys, my day will come one day and I'm feeling very hopeful about it. But basically, I was shopping in Hermes, it was like the beginning of the summer because I was in there buying a pair of um, Hermes Orans. So I think I bought those like when I went to Jamaica. So it was like May kind of time. And the lady that served me was really lovely. And I wanted a belt. And the belt I wanted is like out of stock everywhere. You can't get it. I even tried to get it when I was in Paris. Couldn't get it. And I was really particular about the leather and also the colour of the hardware. So yeah, she said, look, I'll put you on a waiting list. And we will email you when like we get one in. And obviously that was in May. And I never heard a single thing. And to be quite honest with you, I just thought I was never going to get an email. I thought like, you know, these belts are so hard to get hold of. Like I'm never going to get the email. Anyway, last week, I was just um, doing some work. I looked over at my phone. I had a text from Hermes, or well, an email. And they said the belt was here and I could go and pick it up. And I was actually so tempted to buy this resale as well. But resale, like everything resale, it was like almost double the price, well it wasn't even almost, it was double the price, that's why I didn't buy it because I was just like, that's ridiculous, but I was tempted because I wanted it that much, anyway I'm going to show you what it is, so I feel like a lot of you will already know what it is, but it is the Hermes Kelly belt and it is black leather, so like noir leather, the inside is, it's not reversible by the way, but the inside is tan or gold if we're talking in like Hermes terms. And then the hardware is gold. So these belts, you can get them, but only with rose gold hardware, which is still nice. But all of like my jewellery that I wear is all gold. And I feel like when you're spending a lot of money on like a piece like this, like it was still obviously expensive for a belt, I want it to be perfect. And I knew if I get a rose gold one it would always kind of annoy me that it was rose gold. Do you know what I mean? So I held out and I'm so glad I did. And I finally got one. I haven't even like pushed it through. I don't really know what I'm meant to do. I think I'm meant to like push it through and then like turn it. My friend Alice, she has one of these. And when we went to Paris, she wore it all the time. And I was like looking at her belt and was like, wow, it's just so beautiful. But when I went to the Hermes store to pick this up, I then like had the confidence, like I felt a bit confident. So I ended up asking the SA there if I could like make a wish. And I feel like so many people go into Hermes and ask if they can make a wish. And obviously my wish would be to like get a Birkin or a Kelly. And I don't know, I feel like I've heard in London it's so hard, but I've got more chance if I've actually made a wish than not making one, do you know what I mean? So I made a wish for a Birkin. And when I said it, I said, I feel like it's a bit unattainable. And the guy was like, well, you might just have to wait a few, like a little bit longer. And I was thinking I'll be 85 by the time you message me. Now I feel like I have like hope. I'm gonna be hopeful. There was a girl in there and she was picking up a Kelly, a beautiful Kelly 28 Cray, which is a cream color. It was insane. And I heard someone ask her how long she'd been on the waiting list for that. And she said she'd been waiting for eight months, which I didn't really think was that bad. But to be honest, I've got friends that have been on like waiting lists for years. I never got one. You have to go back and update it every nine months. Like go back, otherwise you get knocked off the list. I just think it's luck of the draw. Like people say if you spend money with them, that helps and things like that. But basically I just thought to myself, look, I can put myself on the wish list and maybe one day, hopefully, I will, well not even hopefully, I'm going to just, we're going to speak this right now. I'm going to get a message and I'm going to be told that there is an Hermes 25 Togo leather or maybe Epsom leather black Birkin waiting for me. And then after I have it, which is going to be, I feel like it's only going to take me about three months. Three months guys. And then we're going to unbox it together. I'm just saying it out loud. I mean, is there any chance? There could be a chance. But anyway, this is what I picked up from Hermes. Oh, that's how you do it. You just clip it in like that and then you turn the front of it. And it just goes like this. And a good thing about these belts is the fact that it's like one size fits all, which I really love about that. So it doesn't have holes in it. You kind of like pull the side and then it like 
adjusts like this which i think is really smart and it also means you can then like wear it around your waist but you can also wear it like as a proper belt around your trousers and things like that because often if you've got a belt with holes you can't wear them in both places because your waist is smaller than your hips if that makes any sense i mean i think that was a pretty good shopping trip to say the least don't you guys i didn't obviously do this i've already said it 10 times but i didn't do this all in one day i've kind of been like saving things to show you in one big go but i'm very happy with everything i picked up anyway today is actually sunday and i need to go you guys are coming with us but we are going for a roast dinner because you guys know we go for a roast dinner every single sunday we've got to be there in 10 minutes so as always um we're late because i've been chatting to you lot for way too long i'm going to quickly change my jumper because i feel like this is not the best color to eat a roast dinner in i think i'm going to put one of my adenola jumpers on it is such a gray day oh, thanks for that piss yeah. Well, I said that to you the other day that you smell like fishy in here. There's nothing in this car. I don't get it. It should smell like a new car. What I was going to say to you guys is I've just switched out my jumper for one of the Adenola jumpers in khaki. I have worn the black one so much this week that I actually needed to give it a rest. Um, but the reason I'm showing you is because I feel like by the time this video goes live that most of these jumpers are going to be out of stock. However good news is they are getting a restock which i will pop on like my stories or something like that when it does happen but i think it's either the next week or the week after but really soon they are getting a restock so just keep your eye on the adenola website i think you can also sign up to like mailing lists on there as well so when they do come back in stock you'll be able to get your hands on them anyway we're off to a restaurant called the hollywood arms someone actually recommended it to me on my instagram one of like i want to say one of you guys but it was one of the people from instagram yeah message me so hopefully it's nice because you guys know we love a roast dinner and we're like the biggest roast dinner critiques at this point by the way skin update it has currently been over a week since more for say and the breakouts are still not great i'm kind of feeling like at this point i don't know if that treatment was worth it for me like i feel like my face does look a little bit more lifted what do you guys think? Do you think it looks more lifted? But I think at the moment, for me, having like bad skin, I know it doesn't look like it right now, but I've got a lot of makeup on, um, but having bad skin really gets me down. I think what also made it worse was the fact that I couldn't use my Skin and Me Dosa for I think three days after I had this done because it's got like um, active ingredients in it. And obviously my skin was all open from the needle like points. And I really feel like I'm so religious with my Skin and Me like daily dosa that when i don't use it my skin just breaks out so maybe it's that as well maybe it's like a combination of the two things so hopefully after like a couple of weeks we should be back on good skin track by the way did you all notice that i changed up my earring stack look how cute it looks these earrings so this first one here is like a attachment thing it's from a brand called idol and then so is this chain you've probably seen me wear it before but i haven't worn it in ages and then all of these earrings here, including the hoop, are from Missouri, which currently have 20% off in the side week sale. I'll link them obviously all down below, but like, I think it looks so cute. My mum was like, wow, your earrings that looks beautiful, darling. Thanks, mum. Can you show them how bad my outfit of the day is? This is my outfit of the day. So stylish. I'm joking, like, what the hell? I hope no one sees me. Bomber jacket is Coz. Jumper is Adenola. Leggings are Adenola. Shoes, socks are Nike. Shoes are New Balance. Stunning. I am going to get the Wild Wellington. I think that's what it's called. No, it's a pie. I'm going to get the beetroot and wild mushroom pie. Okay, we've both gone for, look at mine. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> we've gone for like the beetroot wellington. We asked for normal gravy, but they gave us this gravy. So yes. Good evening, everyone. I've just finished editing this vlog and realized I didn't give you a review on the roast or like wrap this whole video up, even though I feel like I have more to say. I'm actually starting a new vlog either tonight or tomorrow morning and that will be up on Thursday. So I don't really wanna make this vlog too long, but the verdict of the roast dinner at the Hollywood Arms, what are we saying? Six out of 10. I feel like it was 6.5. Only because the pastry on the pie was so nice, but like the, like the inside of the pie was beetroot and mushroom. 
And we said the pie would be so good if the inside was different. So if it was like chicken and mushroom, it would have been 10 out of 10. It was so good. And also, the like the veg they did was like a mash. So they did like carrot and swede mash. Where you kind of just thought, why don't you just do carrots? Like, why did you have to mash them up like baby food? But like the roast potatoes were really nice though, weren't they? Yeah, what do you wish? <laughs> yeah, it's true, the, the Yorkshire pudding was terrible. But I feel like at this point we were actually like being too harsh. But at the same time, like, I feel like it's actually so hard to find restaurants that do good roast dinners. Like, we have been to so many and they're just never really that great. We think from now on, I mean, like, neither of us are a good cook though. But I think from like next week, we're going to do the thing where we go to Marks and Spencer's and get all the ingredients and make our own just for like a few weeks because. It's just a bit disappointed, isn't it? Going out and spend all that money on roast dinners and actually never really enjoying it. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as I say, I have two new videos coming out this week because I'm on it with the vlogs. We're also edging towards December. I'm debating doing Vlogmas. I've never done it before because it's a lot to keep up with. I, I definitely won't be doing a vlog a day because I just physically couldn't do it. But... I am thinking I could do like regular vlogs throughout December. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Do you like Vlogmas? Do you enjoy them? Can't believe it's nearly blooming Christmas. What on earth? Anyway, guys, sending you all so much love. Thank you as always for watching, and I shall hopefully see you in my next one. Take care. Bye bye.